Hey guys, and welcome back to my crummy garage. I'm outside here uh, at near freezing temperatures, but um, after setting up this thing to do a, a little review of different headless tuners, uh, I was thinking about something that Scott Bunn was saying on his channel. And apparently there's a lot of people that have a perceived increase of tension in setups where there's a reverse headstock. So where the low E string is the long one after the nut. He says there is no increase in, in tension. Tension is determined um, on the basis of, of what the note is and what the scale length is. And of course, uh, string thickness and material. But here I've got essentially the same string, same diameters. Uh, this is a Dingwall string and this is a Diaderio Flex steel, they're both tuned to F sharp, so you can hear them here, and I don't know if you can actually hear that, but I can tell you they are exactly the same note. Um, the distance is the same between them, Let's and I've got my calipers set up here to a 30 millimeters of deflection over the scale. I'm using a kitchen scale to measure grams, so let's see how this works. There's 106. And there's 101. Actually, I'm wrong. It's 1017 and the other one was 1061. So 50 grams of difference there. Um, I don't know what 50 grams are in pounds, but it's it's definitely a couple of ounces. It's really almost no force whatsoever. It's probably mostly just on the inaccuracy between the uh, placement here on each string and also um, just has to do with, with maybe slight differences in the, in the materials here, but if you noticed, the one actually with longer, or the more string after the nut, uh, had less tension on it, so... <clears throat> you be the judge. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys stay tuned and check this out for the headless reviews, and I'll see you then. Bye.